is this is this live? Oh, take me out to the ball game. Take. All right, guys. This is not GV's portfolio episode two. This is the four horsemen, uh, the four, the the four big caps for the the silver market. I'm already preparing the uh, GV set folio. I might have to refresh in case something changes, but this is uh, what it's going to look like. The stocks that I got off um, the uh, goldventures.org set folio. And here are the four horsemen, uh, AG, First Majestic, CDE, uh, Car Mining, FSM, Fortuna Silver Mines, and HL, Hecla Mining. That's another hard one because I always want to say Helka but it's heck la so yikes all right try not to go down that rabbit hole and just notice guys recently uh, north star and i've been um contributing to silver chartist newsletter every sunday he puts out a insane newsletter for a whole bunch of uh, uh videos charts a whole bunch of stuff in there and uh i'm posting a couple of charts every week exclusive uh so if you want to see them, they might get posted on Twitter if I have a chance later on. Maybe they, they, they won't, but they're definitely going to be in the newsletter. So check on YouTube. I just said, I didn't know I could do that. Top right corner, there should be like this hover card. So you could click on that and then you should see Silver Chartist sign up. So if you want to get that free letter, it's there. Or else uh, at the end of whenever you're done watching this video, or you could go at the bottom description. I should put it. Uh, the link is uh, badcharts.com slash SC for um, Silver Chartist. So don't hesitate. Click on that. It's totally free. And uh, there's North Star, me, and uh, Steve from Silver Tritus just uh, announced that he got a Jeff Clark, man, like the huge whale. Much respect for Jeff there. He's going to be also uh, participating in the newsletter, man. It's just insane. Uh, so happy to be like at the beginning of, uh, of, of this movement there that Steve uh, Penny's putting together through Silver Tritus. So don't forget to subscribe. Okay. So originally, yeah, I was I want to do the uh, the four horsemen with GV Sitfolio, but I know the Sitfolio I'm gonna, it's going to take hours, so it's going to be a long podcast already. So I decided to split it up to give you a little uh, little glimpse of uh, how the big caps are moving along for silver right now. Hold on, okay. So let's um, let's see how I could hash this out. The, always there was a lot of selling, a lot of big noise on the smaller time frame so you got to zoom out uh, you've seen my macro charts the dollar silver ratio everything's long term monthly quarterly uh, annual charts they're all looking that we're going into a commodity bulls market currency pairs the whole work um, so monthly chart is a good way just to reduce noise so let's check it out what does this look like for first majestic guys oh no i'm gonna sell all right, so right away, where are we? I'm gonna try to be as precise as possible. Zoom in. Okay, monthly, I always use the closes to reduce noise. So even if it gapped up, here's one touch, two, and if you're not sure, sometimes what I like to do is uh, go on the line chart So right now it's below one, two, close, three, below the breakout line. So the month before it did close above. We did have a um, hollow candles. We did have a confirmed breakout right here. We even had it. Let me put my horizontal ray. Oh, did we? Yeah, not super convincing, but we did close above that previous uh, high right here. But right now we gapped above, it's closing below. It is below, it hasn't closed yet. So I've seen this multiple, multiple times in a, in an uptrend. The, the, this eventually, if that support, if that was really a bona fide breakout, uh, the price action, this could actually end up the month. There's still a few weeks, a couple of weeks left during the month. This, the wick, this could actually close back up above. So that's just the first step there that you have to look at. Uh, when you want to consider, oh, is it the end? Are we going to pull back? Are we going to go down, touch those March lows? 
that's just the first piece of evidence. Then I have my volume defined. Let's see if that's, hold on, yeah. So here, this previous resistance now is support. We're above it, we're starting to slide up. And right now, this is another volume node right here, a lot of volumes are right below it. It's still acting as support, so we could, by the end of the month, we could actually, this could just be a wick and we could even close around this area here, could close about above this descending trend line. On the monthly chart, you can't judge until the candle closes. The market is going to tell us if this is going to is meant to uh, to go down some more, or we meant to go test that those inclining one year and three year moving averages down here. But right now, the way I see it, we're still doing. Oh. We're still doing higher lows for AG right there. Lots of noise, guys. Lots of noise on the daily chart. And uh, I think this is very close to being a breakout. If I like it when it's more convincing, but in either case, we're still higher lows. We're very close to a um, the breakout line, so we're consolidating right around it, chewing up on that last that last resistance before this explodes upwards. And these trends, man, the, when the, you have the the bullish cross for the one year, three year moving average, where you're above an inclining one year moving average. This is the type of scenario you have. See, hard, hard pullback, come close to it. So that's when we're going to go get. Look, perfect coiling action. This is a beautiful, beautiful long-term chart for AG. Check this out. And you see, you're not on the, um, you're not testing the, the breakdown line here where you say, oh man, this could be it, this could be the end. You're testing, you're pulling back close to the, that breakout line. So this, you're in a bullish zone right here, ready to, to pounce, to take off. So before you start imagining like the worst case scenario, you're not even coming to test the support line here. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. But because of the trend that's going upwards, this, I have believed you're, you're in a, what I call like a bullish transition zone where there's still some stuff to work out, but you're getting squeezed with those inclined moving averages. And we're in a, Precious metals, bull market. So this eventually will resolve upwards. And right here, it's a big vacuum. And I'm on the log chart, so you'll see if I put it on the on the linear chart. Once you're above there, there's not much. Uh, there's a lot of uh, all the chewing up, all the repositioning was done right here, right below, right below us. And right now, we're just in a sweet, sweet spot. Check it out. Even here on the linear chart, this has more convincingly bro broken out. But I like looking anything that's fiat-based, uh, a little trick from Northstar there, anything that's mnemonic and something that's uh, getting debased, like fiat currencies, uh, you could look at them on the log chart and make sense. All right, let's a little, little closer. A lot of people bought here. This is a distance from the one year moving average. Doesn't mean the price can't go up some more. See, it, can, uh, it let the price action can get closer to that when you're moving average. But when you're far away, this is what I call resistance. It's like my profit zone taking. When you're that stretched from the when you're moving average, a lot of uh, profit grabbing could be done here. People are starting to wake up. Hey, what's happening? Um, I'm going to take some profit. Then you, there's resistance. Look where you are now. Complete the opposite. Right now, you're super close to that when you're moving average. You're actually in a fear zone. Everything looks bad. Nobody, everybody's giving up. Everybody's going to other assets. And this is actually a low risk entry, especially in a, in a precious bull market. Uh, odds are that you're not going to dip too much below those one year and three year moving averages that are really close together. And this is actually a great fear entry. And let's look at the stock. And he's, so here's the stock. Consolidating right below that breakout line, not even overextended. The bull zone where the huge profit's gonna make is once you're above here. Really coiling nicely. Upward stock. Look, I don't know. It's when you look on the down day, I don't know how down how much it is today, minus five or six percent. But when you zoom out, you're not even below the previous uh, bullish candle that broke out or that's tempting to, to stay above those breakout breakout lines. For me, AG is very, very uh, starting to enter a very low risk entry area and a higher reward uh, proposition. All right, that's it for one of the four horsemen, CDE. It's fun just doing these four. I was I'm happy because uh, 
I could spend a little bit more time deep diving them and um, hopefully we'll get more details. Okay, CDE, CDE. Okay, let's look at the big picture. Oh boy, look at that. Huge pullback. Okay, so here it is. One, two. See, it didn't quite make it. It gapped up all the way to that breakout line. Uh, the wick previous month couldn't get above it. But it is in a bullish transition zone, guys. So this is a longer term descending trend line where you want to get up above as a first sign of, okay, clear skies ahead. Then after that, there's a, this monthly 2016 high, another monthly defined horizontal breakout line. But if you want to get in early, you have to start looking at these. There's a trend change uh, angled breakout lines. So there's one here. Okay, here's, this is the big one right here. This is the one that we actually broke out back in July of 2020. It did break out above that one, two, three, three point. And on the fourth, it broke above, broke out. Classic retest of uh, that breakout line. And then exploded up, now testing the longer term one. And now just pulling back. And what's happening in the meanwhile is you're staking above the one year and three year moving average. I have crossed over. So you see here was the best, greatest entry. A lot of people here probably said, oh, no, this is going down. It went back up. You have a nice volume defined node right below here, which is now going to act as support. And I am expecting this uh, bullish transition zone to uh, not dip too much below. Maybe it's going to be a wick, but close the month above this line and then retempt to go back above and finally get a nice close above this trend line. And then the next target is going to be that uh, horizontal breakout line. And then if I get ahead of myself, let's do the non-greedy target. This thing, if it could take off, it's a four bagger above that breakout line, 400% move. So somewhere above 79, maybe close to those all time highs right here. But look at the volume defined base. All the volumes right below you guys. You're on the good side of it. So right now, this is a huge shut off. It's a noise, but wait for the end of the month to happen. And then you could see if uh, this ends up being a wick, it's going to the buyers they came in towards the end of the month. Say, hey, no, this is oversold. We're in a bull market. This thing is going to go up. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Let's see if we have any clues here. Same thing. See distance from a moving average. Until we get that extended above the one year moving average, even here on a closer term. Oh, extended, look at that. As just got extended here, so that's a resistance. Now you're getting close at one-year moving average. And it's gonna be the same thing. Once we bust above that distance from the one-year moving average, you might go into these huge gains right here. So right now it's consolidating nicely, close to that one-year moving average. Really, really entering, you just had a bullish cross here, really entering a low risk, higher reward entry. Is this stock telling me anything right now? Oh, right below that breakout line. Not quite ready to go in the bull zone yet. Getting squeezed up. But on the monthly chart, you want to stay a long time in the stock, in the overbought. It's not that oh, I have to go back down like on the, on the daily or the weekly where it oscillates. You want to stay above. It's just going to zigzag up here. And uh, you're not overbought at all. You're just at the sweet, sweet spot, guys right now for current mining. Next one, FSM. FSM. What is happening to this one? What could I do with this beast? All right, okay, let's start shorter term. Wow, okay. Consolidation pattern, convincing breakout, exploded up. Hitting monthly defined resistance. The wick buyer, the sellers coming in, bringing it back down below. Now it's consolidating bit below this breakout line at 872 and above this breakout line at 729. In this pattern, you'll see most of the precious metals uh, sector, the silver, they're behaving pretty much the same way. No. Not many tests right here. Here you had right below, see the, the low risk entry. 
this consolidation pattern right here look at that high volume node as soon as you started sliding above a lot of consolidation a lot of fear right here but you were so extended away from that when you're moving average you pull back here monthly defined resistance now support getting close to it consolidating right here and then exploded upwards you know above it good things happen when you're above a one year and three year moving average when they're reclining especially when it's close it's the first time you're consolidating close to it you're not extended in a uh, bull market because every time the bull market let's say it starts at the cross of the one year and three year moving average so every time you come and retest it that's the first time it pulled back towards the, that moving average then a second time a third time but eventually on the fifth or sixth time if you're lucky you get six pullbacks towards that one year moving average the bull market is getting long in the tooth so cycle wise or secular wise that bull market might be like running out of steam so this is the early first time you get in if you miss this one here this is the great first entry right here uh it's even sometimes it's i like it a lot because you're retesting previous uh breakout lines are they going to hold you're really the market's really proving to you that it wants to go up so that that test usually is a uh, pretty sweet if you didn't get it early at the at the start so all this area right near now, this is going to be support. You're pulling back close to close to this line, inclining when you're moving average. Huge mega year. I don't know how many years this base, eight year base. Look at that. That was also helping that price stay elevated right here. And now you've tested this twice. I don't know how much you're going to pull back more, but that every month you go by that when you're moving average is going to catch up. Three year moving average is going to catch up. And then you'll be close to here and then you'll break out. Let's see a measured move. Let's not get greedy or let's let's get greedy so this is going to be a big move eventually when this beast breaks out it's going to be a 300 percent move above that breakout line Doo -doo -doo -doo. there you go so that's about the target 34 35 once we close above that breakout line here so you're still early but the move the price action is actually moving upwards distance from one year moving average you see it got extended here but as the price as time moves on the price moves sideways remember you could correct either with a violent price correction down or move sideways and let that moving average catch up and the closer you are to that one year moving average the lower the risk and the higher the reward uh, what do i have here Do -do -do -do. breakout if you then trying to stay upwards here in the uh, not consolidating in the uh, bull zone right here so now it's not over overextended you want it to and this when you started getting the low the lower region of that overbought territory in the on the stock these are actually great uh, buying entries right there when everybody's fearful so that's uh, fortune of minds guys it looks actually pretty pretty sweet heckla oh i said it right heckla 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 all right let's look at heckla long-term chart log chart Do i have more data wow whoa look at this chart oh man it's a beast well in the 70s a lot of data Okay, let's try the breakup so this this is the ultimate ultimate pattern this line if this line breaks out watch out but now i'm a little closer i want to get a little better timing here was another one so this was a faster one so this is what i call again the bullish transition area when the angle of ascent gets is steep and then the less the less less steep it gets the more horizontal it gets the more that's when the crowd gets in on those breakouts so these are the early breakouts uh, exploding bullish cross one year three year moving average you're in a precious bull market broke out perfect retest exploded up coming back down so this is actually let's see here wow look at that another pattern right here did not break out right here it gapped above so let's see where the month closed. you never know it could close below it could even close above it's still early. 
your above volume defined support right right smack on it so i wouldn't be surprised that we get a wick right above this volume defined node which should keep the price action elevated because you have that one year moving average that uh, coming back up to try to squeeze the price action up so this is the market saying i just need more time we're just not quite ready to explode right now and uh, people are grabbing their profits or whatever they're doing so this is a very bullish chart you a uh, lot of fear at this level right here but that's normal because uh, that's why i call them fear entries when you start you feel paralyzed and you say oh man should i get my chips out but until the this really breaks down and closes below the one year moving average like here and you even here in 2017 after the 2016 rise you get a few months you know it closed one month below then couldn't back up get back above couldn't get back above this is a lot of a good time maybe to uh, to take some risk off the table let let it prove that it could go back above try to surpass those previous highs and the longer it takes to try to go back above those previous highs um the scarier it is but until you get that uh the momentum for this there is really uh it's going upwards for hecla look at that my little trick distance from a one-year moving average it's been pretty uh um respected pretty much here profit taking profit taking right here a little bit maybe a little lower a little profit taking and now you're really close to that when you're moving average so this is potential stretch explosion you could get away from the when you're moving average approaching the bull zone it tried to get in here it pulled back it's not quite in it yet so it's going to need a little uh, still doing higher lows on the stock once it stays above uh, so we're really approaching a low risk high reward entry and it's not down here guys it's already shown that because you see when it's down here people say oh, i'm gonna buy it it's oversold but on the monthly chart that means you're in the bear zone something bad's happening and needs more time to digest you don't know how long it's going to stay here so you see how the price action went down now you're actually here so a pullback out of this bull power zone on the monthly down here turning back up that's actually very bullish and uh, i'd be expecting this to go back up and stay in the that bull power zone guys that's it for the four horsemen guys so I'll be doing uh, tomorrow or I don't know, this weekend, I'll be going through the rest of the GV's uh, sitfolio. And uh, this is actually a good time because I could have done this podcast maybe at, at the highs and then, oh, cool, everything's the highs, you're buying on breakouts. But then after that, the drawdown is new people getting in, then they see this pull back, they get discouraged or they're leveraged and they pull the trigger and they're, they get out. So actually buying on the pullback here is actually low risk entry. And um, it's actually, you have more chances of going up than completely crumbling, crumbling down. It's easier to hold uh, through that. Thanks again, guys. Don't remember uh, Steve's uh, Silver Chartist newsletter, top right. Let me know how that works. I hover card. First time I put that in there or down in the description. Uh, Jeff Clark, man, from uh, and, uh, North Star, be contributing there to the free newsletter is just insane. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Oh.